good morning guys i hope you guys are having an awesome day so painting this reborn silicone um i remember i ordered this off of ebay i paid 167 dollars for this with the shipping and everything it's a very big baby the weight is very heavy it's 20 inches long remember i told you guys i was going to replace the eyes and stuff like that so i'm mixing the paints up guys so I have um, these paints, silicone paints, that come in this tube, and you have to mix it with uh, the Psycho paint A and B. So, silicone is very hard to, it, it, it's, it's a lot of steps, so I just want y'all to be prepared. When I showed y'all the first video, I had this baby laying on a rubber mat silicone stick to silicone i should have never put it on a rubber mat you know so i went upstairs and got a old bed sheet that i'm not going to use anymore so or the baby is laying to that and another thing that i did that we can't do you have to let this side cure first completely and then you flip it over and cure the other side always make sure your surface is clean because silicone stick to silicone all type of stuff is going to be you know falling on your baby different things like that so i didn't did a red undertone not a red a, a pink undertone i did a little bit of green now i'm using my yellow undertone so when i told y'all make the paint very little see this this is very little a little goes a long way so i put the psycho paint in here um mixed it a and b and i put a little bit of paint thinner so it can give me uh, enough um, time to be able to spread the paint around. So I'm doing a yellow undertone now. So when I do this yellow undertone, what I wind up doing, I have the makeup wedges, but I didn't have a lot of them. So this sponge right here, and um, this is one of the sponges from the dollar store. So this one works great. So after I put a layer of that paint on, I just start kind of pouncing it into the skin and silicone is going to look wet and sticky until you put the setting powder so it's going to look like that so i put the layer on and i pounce it in so the color is sticking it is curing because if not you guys wouldn't have been able to see none of these um colors so when I say a little, little goes a long way. Don't do a lot. Just do a little bit because with this silicone, it's, it's sticky, it's tacky. So don't do a lot. Don't do a lot. Just do a little. And then when you're done doing it, you know, you could just, I just take a paper napkin and what's left in the bottom of the jar, wipe it out. Then I can go to my next color. Yo, A and B. You got to have clean sticks per each one because when they come together, they, you know, they kind of turn into honey and sticky. Don't use the same stick you use in A and put it in B. Don't do that because you're going to ruin it. You're going to need some more and that psycho paint ain't cheap. These little things right here, you can get it off of Amazon. This right here is like, uh, cost me like 60 something dollars. So it's not cheap. So you want to be mindful not to make a waste so she's coming along very good um she's coming along very good i got her private parts covered but these is the tones and when you're painting silicone yes it look wet and sticky and yeah because it's not gonna um once it cures that that stickiness will kind of go away but you're gonna do this side and then you do the other side so and then oh I didn't have, pick up some isotone. So the isotone is to help clean your brushes, remove, you know, some of the silicone. But this is the yellow undertone, you know, like your, your colors. Um, This baby, I want it um, to be a sort of a biracial baby. So that's why it, I didn't like the color at all that it came with. You know, but it was a good base to start. So, overall, I'm happy with the fact that they have the color. You know, they have these babies. So, making a baby would be more expensive. So, I was happy that, you know, the baby. I was 
I was nervous when I got it because I didn't want no little old bitty baby. So when y'all are buying these babies, look at the size. Please pay attention to the size. A 10-inch baby is a mini baby. That's very tiny. Uh, 12-inch is, is like preemies. they little babies. So if you want a, a size baby like this, a bigger baby that's, you know, look for 21 to 20-inch 20 baby. When they say 10 and 12, and those are preemie little tiny babies. So a lot of times there'd be, there'd be 60, 70, 80 dollars. Now I will say for somebody that want to do this for the first time, that actually might be good for you to start off with a with a smaller baby. It might actually be good to do a smaller baby because you know it's, it's less to paint. So this yellow have to sit on this side. This baby got a cure. It takes about 45 minutes. And then after the 45 minutes. I can flip her over and you, when you flip her over, hopefully there's nothing on the, you know, other side of the, your, your work surface, keep your work surface clean, but I'm, I can't leave her sitting here like this because the dog will jump up to try to look out of the window and I don't want his hair sticking to my baby. So I'm just trying to make sure I got all the yellow tones and really good. So, I'm getting around the eyes and nose good because that's where, like, the highlights is going to hit. So, see, I made a very small amount. And see, it's all gone. So, if you do it like that, you won't waste paint. You won't waste paint at all. And instantly after I do that, you know, I'm going to pounce this in. And I'm getting more work time because it is paint thinner in here. When you just mix the cycle paint together, A and B, you got to you gotta work it fast. I'm getting a little bit more time because I have the paint thinner in here. So that's extending my process time. But yes, silicone is very sticky. And so yes, silicone is very, very sticky. And it is a lot of work. So she is on a turntable. Make sure I'm not nut down. And I got the, the 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 sheet from the dollar store. They had it for $5. So you see, and she's heavy. So instead of me have to always pick her up and move around, she's on a turntable. Don't use like a bath cloth with thick, you know, stents because that that print will get in her silicone. Like this, this silicone is so soft. Anything that get in it, it kind of touches it. I mean, it kind of leaves an indent. So, and I don't put the setting powder powder on until done. But one thing I saw that I wasn't doing. I watched the video when the lady got ready to flip him. She put the setting powder on and flipped them to prevent what's ever down there from sticking. So I, I was under the impression that you use the setting powder when you're totally finished. So no. So I guess when this cured, I could put a, a, some setting powder on her to prevent stuff from sticking. So remember I said with this bowl, what I wind up doing. And then I can go to my next color. I take it like this. So I do use very little. Because you don't want to be heavy. You cannot, again, put silicone down your sink. So you see, I, I wash it out just like that. And then I have rubbing alcohol to clean the brushes. So I take the rubbing alcohol, spray it. And see that you're cleaning the silicone out of your brush because you can ruin your brush so instantly right after I'm done and, and I do the alcohol and I wipe. So I'm getting all the silicone out of this brush. I don't want the brush to turn hard. So I do that instantly. So a little goes a long way. I'm not sure 
on. I probably do some more blue or green undertones because what I'm seeing, I see more of the pink. I see a little bit of the green. So I want to do more of those undertones when it cure before, you know, I want to do a little bit more of those undertones. So I'm going to mix up a little bit of that and give me some veining and stuff like that. Let's see. I'm going to show y'all how I mix it up so it'll help somebody. I don't want to get. Okay, so I'm going to take this green. Okay. I'm going to put. Is it open? I thought I opened it. I guess I didn't. I'm sorry. I thought I opened it. So you take a pen. And it's got to be. Uh-oh. Did I not do it? Lord. I wonder if that's what those things is for. I got some little things that came with with this. So maybe that. Why is it not working? Hmm. That's weird. Um, I hope it ain't already dr dried out. When I got this paint, it came with some little orange things. I'm not for sure. If that's something I was supposed to do. There we go. I'm not for sure, guys, what's going on with that. So I went and got some smaller brushes. So that was kind of hard to come out. When I got this paint, this, it was a little, some little orange things. Maybe those go to keep the paint. I hope it's not going to dry out. I'm, I'm not for sure. So then I take, this is paint thinner. So when I'm saying a little goes a long way, y'all see how much paint I put in there? Kind of like painting the reborns. So I put the paint thinner in there because I want to thin it out. So when you're doing the A and B, You have to use different sticks. Don't stick the A and B in the same. So if you want to save on sticks, you can flip one way, flip the other way. So this is the size I put in there. That's the size that I put in there. Okay. So if you want to save on popsicle sticks, then put the top right back on there right away. Started using it this way, so you know it's the wrong side that you just did. Flip it, so you can save. Start of like, you know, if you want to save a little. So then you take the B, and it don't matter in which order. You could do B first, A second, but just the same equal amount. Okay, that's in there. I close that up right away, and. I put it in there and I start stirring these two together. And if you want it darker, you add darker, but I don't like going real dark. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to take this and I should have used the stick more because it's all around the sides. So you just sit there and stir it. So like I said, a little goes a long way. A little goes a long way. So I want to mix that up real good. So this is the amount of paint that I have. So a little goes a long way. Um, I have a much tinier brush. But I don't know where that, well, I know where it is, but I got to go far to get it. So I'm just going to kind of show y'all when I'm going to do some veining or something. This brush is kind of big. So I put a little vein or something. Can y'all see that? So I'm giving them a little vein. Her, her face featured honestly looked like a little boy tell you the truth 
but when I root the hair and all that, I'm, I'm hoping that I get a, a more girly look. So I'm doing a little veins and I'm intentionally doing it and I'm letting it sit a little bit. So I want the paint to kind of soak up into the, um, I want the paint to kind of soak up into the kit. And then I just start taking little green and I just do a little pouncing. So then I'm gonna take this same sponge and dab it in there, dab it in there, dab it into the paint. So I like for it to sit a couple seconds to kind of soak up because sometimes you could put it on there and if you got it like kind of runny, it's going to run right off. So I like mine to be a little thicker. So yeah, I'm just adding the little green like undertone, like veining. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to let that sit. And when you let it sit, it's soaking up into the vinyl. So I want a little green going around by the neck. So the, the point in doing all this, when you look at the kit, when you look at it through the layers, you're going to be able to see like the green, the pink, the mottling. So it really look going to be looking like a real baby skin when you're done. And the touch of this silicone, I love how I feel. I love how I feel. And no to the people that get on here and say, that's not a real silicone. So I think when they say that, they meaning the big babies that um that you see. So I'm turning her around so I can get this out. The big the bigger babies that you wind up seeing that um that people be having. So a lot of those people that have those babies, they make those babies from their own scopes. I don't know how to scope a baby. I don't know how to do none of that. So I get what I can get. So, no, this is not like the big ones. A lot of the ones you probably see on YouTube and them, them artists have it when you see a lot of them. Now, they get them. Some people buy them from vendors, but those those is real expensive. I've seen some go for $7,000. And I'm like, no, I just wanted to get the experience of painting a silicone, challenging myself, say I can do it. But, um... Yeah, those are the bigger ones. Those are much bigger than this. So, so I kind of let it sit in there. And then I'm going to pounce it into the skin. So how I got it sit in there to suck up into the silicone. And then I take this in. And I'm not doing it hard because I don't want to pounce it right off. You can see I'm pouncing it. in so no these are not those big expensive babies you know this is the ones i got off ebay from a vendor that makes these silicone babies so no this is not the real huge ones and you know so but they'll tell you that's not a real silicone baby it is a real silicone baby because it was made with silicone but it's not the silicone baby that you guys might see a lot of those people have so no it's not that so if you could see how the vinyl how that green is sucking up into the silicone so these are all my undertone layers so when you're looking at the baby you will be able to see the the green and the the pink and you'll be able to see a lot of these so these are undertones so you know like a real person body half we have you know different pigments in our skin so that's what i'm doing so these all these layers have to cure so Oh, and it this doesn't have any smell. Everything is odorless. 
Yeah, everything is odorless. I'm gonna give her something a little green over her nose. And I think I mixed up too much. They always be doing something like that over the nose. Give her a little vein down her forehead. And remember, you cannot flip her and put her on the other side yet. Because all this work you did is going to stick. Put a little green in the temple over here. So they look really weird in the making. But I promise you, if you put in all the work and the time, it's going to be beautiful. So, I just wanted to show y'all what, what I'm doing and kind of what I came up with, you know, and stuff that I've learned. So, again, watch as many videos as you can before you get started. And it is going to be sticky, messy. The stickiness that you see, but the shine, when it start queuing, the shine will go away. Yeah, the, the shine will go away. So, yeah. So, there you go, guys. This is what I did so far. And I'm going to let this cure because I can't get to the next side until this cure because you can't flip her. So, one last idea I thought of. My friend said that they're called doll holders. So y'all y'all know those big collectible dolls that people own? So they have those collectible dolls, right? And a collectible doll able to stand up and it grabs them by the back of the neck. So I was thinking if we want to paint and get a lot of the layers and stuff done so they have to lay her down. How about we get one of those nice heavy-duty stands for a bigger dowel, and you know it's metal. Put um, some cushion, like 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 cushion around the neck, so that the metal won't be you know into her neck like that. But you know, pad it around, make some type of foam, and then take shrink wrap and put it around after you put the foam, and then stand her up so we can get more done at one time because she's standing upright. And then a pole is little, so you even better get to her back. Her only thing won't be complete is right here was holding. And you could do that at the last step, but you probably can get a lot more done. So I'm going to look for one of those and try to modify that so I can have the baby to stand up. But it's got to be a heavy-duty one because this is heavy. This ain't one of them little cheap dials. It needs some weight. Actually, I might actually ask my friend Clarence to build me one because it's going to need some weight to hold her. So, yes. So, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.